Welcome to Stokes Design TV. In this video, we're going to be talking about opening InDesign files in different CS versions. Before we get into the video, I'd like to say we offer a service for opening files in different versions. So if you're having problems, please visit stokesdesignproject.com or click on the link in the description. Okay, let's get into the video. First, there are two rules you may or may not know. One, newer CS versions can open older version files. So this means if you have CS6, you can open a CS3 file that is provided to you. The second is older CS versions can't open newer version files. So if you have CS3 and someone gives you a CS6 file, you won't be able to open it. Let's have a look at this working. Okay, we're in CS6. We open up a CS3 file. And as you can see, it opened it fine. The file was created in CS3 has a link, the links are fine, only has one page. If we look at the character styles, you can see they've been imported as well. So all the functions will go forward. The only thing is you can see up here it says converted, which means converted from an older version. All right, let's go into CS 5.5 and try and open a CS 6 file. Again, error message saying cannot convert newer document. So that doesn't work. And then we'll try and open the same file, the CS6 file in CS3. Again, you get an error message, missing plugins, and it can't open the file. But having said that, there is an export function within InDesign which allows you to save the file which can be opened in previous versions. Okay, so let's look at the export feature. Now, CC or Creative Cloud, all the way down to CS4, exports to a file type called IDML, InDesign Markup Language, and these can be opened by previous versions. And then we have CS4 down to CS2, export to INX, and INX is short for InDesign Interchange File. CS4 is the only one that exports to both IDML and INX. Let's see how to export. To export is very simple. Have a file open, go to File, down to Export, or Control e Choose the file type you wish to export to. In this case, it's IDML. Type the file name and then hit save. Unfortunately, not all CS versions can open all exported file types. So I'm going to run through what can open which file type. CC, all the way down to CS4, including CS4, can open IDML files and INX files. CS3, can open all INX files, but not IDML. CS2 can only open INX files made in CS3. And the original CS can open INX files made in CS3 as long as it's an updated version to 0 0.04 or later. Now making a file compatible to previous CS versions is called downsaving or backward saving. Let's have a look at a couple of examples of how you would need to downsave a file to be openable in a previous version. First we have a CS5.5 file down to a CS4. What you'd need to do is open the file in CS5.5, export it as an IDML file and then open it in CS4. Fairly simple. Here's another example. With the CS6 file all the way down to CS3 what you would need to do is again open it in CS6 create an IDML file. With this IDML file you need to open in CS4 and then in CS4 you can export it into an INX file which then you can open in CS3. Let's look at the steps of this example in action. Okay, so first we open the InDesign CS6 file in InDesign CS6. Now we're going to export it to an IDML, so you go File, Export. Make sure you have the IDML file type selected. Give it a name. Let's just add IDML to the end. Close that. Now go to CS4. Open. Here is the IDML file we've just created. Open that. You can see it's the CS6 file. Now we're going to export that. Make sure the INX file type is selected. 
Give it a name. Now go to CS3, open. And you'll see the INX file here. Just click it open. And you can see we've now opened a CS6 file into CS3. It contains all the images, links, character styles. The structure should be fairly maintained. Close it. Give it a file name. And then if we go and open it again, you'll see here it's the CS3 file type. And that's how you downsave. So as you can see, you need several CS versions to be able to downsave to previous versions. If you don't have them, please do check out our conversion service and go to stokesdesignproject.com or follow the link in the description. I hope this video has given you a clearer understanding of how to open InDesign files in different CS versions. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comments section below or contact us via our website. Thanks for watching.